centripetal force okay when we can say that is centripetal force let us take uh, one car is moving this is a center point is there what is this this is radius so my car maybe or you can take this is also radius if you consider the second path if you consider again this path you can take the radius okay if i say car may be traveling here something bus or car okay this has some velocity definitely then what is the acceleration v square by r okay then what is the centripetal force you know very well that is fc is equal to m v square by r this is the centripetal force fc is equal you have to remember so when this is a centripetal it acting means this is acting towards the center point suppose if i consider that the um, wheel of the car and surface so the wheel where will it go on the surface uh, that uh, the tire as that uh, wheel as center point then that is acting towards the center point then we can say that is which force is acting means that we can say that is the centripetal force what is the formula centripetal force fc is equal to mv square by r okay what happens this is acceleration a v square by r then we what we can say centripetal force fc is equal to mv square by r so if you know the centripetal force then what we can say so afterwards suppose the one car is moving on the level road uh, level road uh, it is moving if you say then in that case so what happen suppose this is velocity so now we'll see if car is moving on the level road how much force is there okay there are two uh, situations will occur in our day to day life what is the first one motion of car on a level road okay suppose our car, there may be different different roads exist uh, one in general in our syllabus uh, we can say motion of a car level road another situation we can consider motion of a car on a banked uh, banked road so banked road means different some different no, that is not smooth so first we will see motion of car on a level road how much in the force is acting on that that we are going, how much velocity what is the speed we are how much the, there is how much that is now we are going to see about okay let us take car is moving okay you can think this is a car so what i mean this is these are the tires okay this car is if it is moving what i mean the car and the tires it is touches the surface okay in between it has frictional force that you can take f okay again this tires and see if it is like this okay tire and this surface what is this for this is force acting towards the center point of the wheel then what we can say that is fc here what is there here fc then between tires and surface and then again this this side this f is there okay above which force is acting n then the total car of the the total car of the weight it is acting downwards that is already you know how much that is mg okay let us consider the car is moving on the smooth surface on level level road what happen the frictional force or that is centripetal force will be exist the tires and the surface that is towards the center of the um, tire that we can say fc then what happen the frictional force that may be statistical force next upward direction which for, which uh, which force is existing normal reaction then downward the weight of the 
body or the car weight how much is there that is mg okay now i am going to um, derive the equation okay what i mean then upward force is equal to downward force okay how about how much is there normal n is equal to how much is there mg this is the equation number 1 okay next when the car is moving then what i when the uh, the tires and this uh, surface will touching okay without touching uh, this car's surface and the car will move it's not possible due to that then what we can take that is so um, from the definition what we can write here this uh, that is we one sense we can that is a statistical friction statistical de friction definition or uh, limiting friction then what we can write simply f l um, directly proportional to n then f um, f l or we can take f l is equal to f s also we can take that is equal to f also you can take that is your choice next if i remove the proportional constant then you can write the if you take here mu s next year also you will take the mu s this is equal to n so then what i went here this is the f s is equal to mu s n this is the equation number 2 okay next another force so, so what what we can write f is equal to we can write f also we can write then mu s so from equation 1 and 2 So what I have done here simply I have taken the equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 substitute in equation 2 why because here f is equal to mu s n is there simply I am substituting how much we got n is equal to mg we got okay that mg value I am writing in the equation in equation 2 then I got the f is equal to mu s mg okay then another force also is acting that is uh, centripetal force how much is there the centripetal force that is f is equal to fc then F, fc how much is there already i have given m v square by r or else we can say f is equal to m v square max maximum r okay can i substitute that value here then we can derive the v max is equal if you consider this is equation number four from equation number four and three what we can write what is the conclusion from equation three and four from equation 3 and 4 then what we can write mu s mg m v square max by r okay here which term will get cancelled m m gets cancelled then what happen mu s g r is equal to okay finally what you are getting v square max is equal max means maximum so what you are getting mu s suffix g r then we need what is the velocity of a car on the level road means what we can write mu s g r this is the final answer for what motion of a car on a level road okay like that we can derive the answer okay simply we have to consider the car then we can take the force sign then we can get the v maximum is equal under root of mu s z r okay this s should be at the suffix